Roman Catholic Archbishop Joseph Harris has tendered his resignation from the post to the Vatican Rome. Archbishop Harris celebrated his birthday on March 19, and it's customary for bishops to submit their resignations at age 75. During his monthly Facebook Live chat, the Archbishop also spoke of government's decision to seek counsel on capital punishment. Karen Kozia Philip tells us more. The 1983 Code of Canon Law and the 1990 Code of Canons require most bishops to submit their resignations at the age of 75, but the Pope is not required to accept them. Archbishop Harris celebrated his 75th birthday on Sunday, March 19th. He is waiting on a response from the Vatican as to whether or not he will continue as Archbishop. I have sent my resignation letter in. I delivered it to the nuncio a few days before my 75th birthday. I'm told that it already went to Rome. So I await what the Pope will say. <laughs> the Archbishop lists his achievements during his tenure as the completion of the refurbishment of the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception, his stance on child marriages, and his intervention on behalf of prisoners in Remand Yard. He also shares his view on the death penalty. I was thinking about it two days ago and asking myself, if the death penalty is reinstated, at the end of it all, having hanged two people or three people, what does that do to our nation? I remember the same Ramesh Lawrence Maharaj. Archbishop Harris says hangings will not help because the causes of crime and violence are not being attended to. Crime and violence will continue. The hanging will not stop drugs coming into the country. Hanging will not stop people fighting for turf. And so the murders will continue. And he blames this country's education system for creating criminals. We never take into account learning styles and aptitudes. Everybody is forced into this grammar school thing. And so we, we produce failures. And when you produce failures, there's no hope. There's tremendous anger. Archbishop Harris was installed as a 10th Archbishop of Port of Spain on December 8, 2011. Karen Cozier-Philip, CNews.